is Bobber Azam a clutch player? And uh, I have some stats to show you. Before I can get you to that stats, before we answer that question, just want to remind everyone uh, to like, subscribe, share, comment. So far, we've been about halfway or, or two, three, two thirds into the conversation. And tell us what you think about it. Um, don't forget to check out the Patreon. Sign up for that if you want deeper conversations, deeper connections to me and Bashar both. Lots of cool BTS stuff. You're going to see all the show notes from this podcast up on Patreon as well. So if that's something you want to look up to, you can. Seven days are free. And the cheapest tier is uh, two ninety nine or three ninety nine dollars So, you know, it's just a coffee if you're living in uh, the Western world. So check it out. And yeah, we'll answer that question. Is Babar Azam a clutch player? Clutch player. So, uh, Babar has some notable performances in Pakistan, Pakistan in big tournaments. He was the highest run scorer in the 2019 World Cup. He was the highest run scorer for Pakistan in the 2021 T20 World Cup. Um, he had a 46 against India in the Champions Trophy final. Um, uh, he scored a 50 against New Zealand in the 2022 T20 World Cup final. But what are some of the other big performances of Babar Azam in clutch matches? When I say clutch matches, I mean... These are matches that if Pakistan loses, they're at the tournament, or this is a must-win match under all circumstances. So, uh, let me give you some more stats. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm dreading, dreading these numbers that you're going to pull out, but I guess we all have to listen to these. So, uh, a few of the flops that I would consider flops for, for Babar Azam in big matches is the 2021 T20 World Cup semifinal. He scores 39 of 35 balls. Um where Pakistan's total score was 176. So he basically underscored in terms of his strike rate. Um, the 2022 Asia Cup final scores five off six. Uh, the Super 4 knockout match today, he scores 29 from 35 balls, where a player of his class and caliber should have scored a century, a match winning, a statement of a century. That I am Babar Azam, I am the number one match in the world, and this is why. But flops, scores 20, 29. Um, Bob Razum's average in tournament finals across formats, so ODIs and T20s, he averages 24.5 in four innings with the highest score of 46. Um, another uh, uh, way we can judge a player to see if he's clutch or not is in Pakistani in, in subcontinent terms is how well does he perform against India? Bob Razum's stats across formats against India, average of 28.8 in 10 innings with only 150. And, um, you know, he's the number one ODI player in the world, but um, the performances in such clutch matches when Pakistan really needs it, they're not there. He's not your Kobe, he's not your Michael Jordan, he's not your Tendulkar, he's not your Kuli. He's probably an Allen Iverson. Oh my God. That's... Practice. What's practice? <laughs> that Talk about practice. I don't even think you understand how good that analogy was. Like whoever is a basketball slash cricket fan is just losing their mind. He is Allen Iverson. He, he, as a one-handed player, he's classy, he's good to look at, he's beautiful, he can talk the talk sometimes, but he's just not there, not all the time. Oh man, that broke So I heart. mean, you're, you're a huge Bob Razum fan, so am I. We love Bob Razum with all our heart and core, but these stats, they're eye-opening. No, these stats were hard to listen to just because, you, I mean, they're facts. You cannot, you cannot counter these, these stats. And if you want to converse, again, the Bob or Kohli thing, I don't want to bring it up right now, but I have to in this moment. Kohli shows up against Pakistan. I don't know if you have Kohli stats against Pakistan, but his average is somewhere in the high 80s. He has three or four centuries against us. Four ODI hundreds. Four ODI hundreds against us. His high score is against us, 183. 183. Like, that's, that's what makes big players. Now, I know that um, the Pakistan-India games are few and far between. So it's hard to have these established stars that we had in the 2010s. Like, one of the reasons that Shai Jafridi is such a big star ever is because of his performances against India. And his good luck was that India played a lot of matches in the 2000s with Pakistan and he used to open, right? And he just had a flair to him. He had a bit of a class. He had a bit of a gravitas. Bowlers were a bit scared. He would like smack them all around the ground. It was fun to watch. He became a household name to this day. Some, he's, like the, he's like the chief sporting guy on summer right now because of those performances. Babar Azam will no doubt go down in the history books as Pakistan's greatest batsman of all time. There is no doubt. No one's denying this. He might even come as the top five best captain even. I don't know. He led Pakistan to a lot of knockouts, a lot of finals. There's a lot of talk about how he, he, he orchestrated the way. He built a team around him. Yeah, you have to give him the props for that. But where was he in clutch moments? That's what counts. 
Inzimam is Inzimam, not because Imran Khan plucked him out of the air and put him into the World Cup. It's because he showed up in the semifinal and the final. Same thing with Javed Milad. Same thing with Javed Milad. Yeah, 100%. An injured Javed Milad scores, you know, one of the uh, f- like hard fought 50s in Pakistan ODI history again in the semifinal and the final. Um, that partnership between Imran Khan and Javed Milad, the 9 2 World Cup final, one of the most iconic historic partnerships in Pakistan ODI history. So, again, those performances are missing from Babar Azam, and he still has a long way to go in his career, and there's multiple tournaments coming up. So, the idea here is, here is to identify that this is where Babar is lacking. I'm sure he's practicing as hard as ever, uh, but just when these pressure clutch moments come, we expect Babar to bring to take Pakistan out of trouble and, and put him in a better position than when he was on the crease. Which is ironic to say because he just won ICC Player of the Month. Bro, honestly, like, what is those awards? What is those rankings to Pakistanis if you're not winning us tournaments and trophies? Like, I'm just being very honest here. No, I mean, I, there's nothing to take away from like, that. Like, what That's am I supposed fact. to do if Babar's number one if he's not scoring runs against India, when he's not taking Pakistan out of trouble, when he's not leading Pakistan under tournament finals, and to trophies in the end? Like, it, these are just facts. Like, I, I'm not sure how big of a Babar Azam fan you are, but I'm just spitting facts right now, and I know these are hard, hard to digest. But it is what it is. 